So for today's video, I thought let's do something with the city, but also the urban sketching videos, they don't do so well. So I thought, okay, there's a hill not far from where I live. Let's go up there. You can look down on the city. So we could do something fun, uh, maybe perspective related. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so out of air because like this is quite a nice slope. As kids, we used to uh, sled here during winter. So I'm going up here now and let's see if I find a good spot to draw the city. As you can see, the city is pretty nice and visible from here. It's a little bit small and I have a tiny sketchbook with me. So I don't know how I'm going to manage to do a perspective lesson, perspective lesson out of this, but we're gonna try our best. This, uh, this road here, this is this that you can see, it leads over that way. And yeah, we, we came a lot with the bikes here and then gone back there. There's some really nice bike tracks there in the forest. So another reason why I'm excited, one of my friends uh, got a bike for me and we're gonna go mountain biking and I haven't done it since I left, which is over 11 years ago. So I'm very excited about mountain biking right now. Hey guys, editing Robert here. So this was this somewhere here. <laughs> this was the bike that I went out with, absolute monster. Big shout out to my friends from uh, easyrider.ro. Uh, they gave me the bike, awesome bike shop. We had a great time. There's also a picture with uh, me and my hands going through some thorns and some thorn pieces in there. So it was a great time. Just wanted to make a quick update. So I think this would be a nice little building there. And with this together, I can sort of find a little bit of perspective. I'm not sure if I'm going to do all of this digitally or not. I'm going to try and do it here with pen and paper in my small-ish sketchbook and maybe later at home digitally because I guess I would be able to explain better than what I draw here, but let's see what can be done. All right, so here is a photo of what I could see yesterday when I was looking down at the city and it is quite far away. So I, I don't know, in my head, I sort of zoomed in a little bit. Either way, what I was drawing, let me see if we have, yeah, we have an extra layer. Let me make the brush a bit bigger. So we were drawing this building and this building. And of course, these buildings here in the background, but I sort of cut it to two and then maybe added something. And then we had all these things in the background. And I said when I was drawing out there that digitally, I wanted to show you how I look at perspective. And I think I showed you before, but it's a little bit harder when things are this far away and you'd really have to look at things, how they look. That's why I was happy about these buildings. But actually the most helpful buildings, let me show this one, this one, and this one. These were the most helpful buildings for me. Uh, and let me show you why. It's basically the same trick. Like you try to find the corners, like I'm going to use these corners on the buildings and just try to see where the lines lead me. Uh, so let me go, and I'm gonna go a little bit below the corner just so I uh, don't get too confused. So I just draw a line here. I'm gonna go into edit mode just so I can make the line a little bit longer because we want them to intersect. So I bring it a bit closer here. As you can, I, I don't think I need, need to bring it a bit lower. So finding these correctly is something that's probably not going to happen easily. So I think this would be the correct angle something here. So we need quite a big area of tolerance here because where our, I think, I think our horizon line will move quite a bit. So let's move on to the next roof. So I do the same thing. I just draw a line, go into edit mode. You can do this with Photoshop, with whatever you have line tools that you can edit a bit. Okay, and then do it on this side as well. I'm trying to find that angle, edit, I think it's here somewhere, I hope. And then let's do it with this one as well. So some, this should be one line, this should be somewhere the other line, I think. So this, and then we have one, two, and well actually one is, is quite like this this and this. So these will be our, uh, this should be technically on the horizon line, right? These points, because that's what we learned. So the horizon line, I'm just going to approximate it at its shape somewhere here in the middle. So 
So this is where I think the horizon line should be. And as I said, this can go a little bit higher and a little bit lower as well. It does not need to be perfect. I see the horizon line somewhere here. And this is going to be wobbly, so don't, let's not even worry about it. And then I see the tops of some of the buildings here. So I could technically turn these into some of the flats that I see. Nice and wobbly. And you can see a whole bunch more flats and just buildings off there in the distance. And they're just becoming smaller small, and smaller as we go along. I wouldn't worry about those. They, they can also just become really just detail. And this horizon line technically is also not there. I, I imagine that because be below, well below, more behind them, you can see these sort of hills everywhere with a little bit of tree areas. It's, it's really <laughs> detailing these is not important just because if we use already strokes and just tiny lines here for the detail of all the, the buildings and whatnot, it's going to get a little bit confusing if we put the same thing also into the tree lines. But what you could do here is now try and hide this horizon line because it's not necessary amongst all this detailed little houses and whatnot. And um, hello, Mr. Little Ant, coming onto my paper. Go away, please. Oh yeah, draw drawing in nature brings its own uh, interesting challenges with it. Like you should see the weird pose that I'm taking here. Like basically, this paper is on the ground, and I'm <laughs> kneeling to be able to capture this but I'm, I'm not gonna complain and then you can also add like I see now that I forgot about there's tree line here and I could I, I have to watch out not to make it too big this is this is closer and then the if I would draw trees there they would be much further away and then we have houses coming up onto the hill here so it's really this is up to you how much you want to detail it or not So this, this is where perspective comes in. And let me switch the camera. So here we have a building that is sort of looking at us, us. And it's also, we can look a little bit on top of it. It might be a little bit narrower than I drew there. And this sort of gives us the indication that it goes that way. Feel free to make adjustments if you feel that you're not capturing it correctly. And this can also give me an indication that I can make the top of these uh, buildings behind it just a little bit thicker. And not thicker, but I mean like you can look upon them a bit more. And then here you can also add these like rooftop extra building thingies. Let me not move the camera so much. It goes there. And then you have sort of an interesting little pattern here sort of zigzagging in and out. Yes, Mr. Ant, welcome to the video. Okay, make sure to make the outline a little bit stronger. And then I'm going to like cheat a little bit. So that house, I'm gonna draw closer because that's the building that I drew just now. And this I'm gonna push a little bit closer. As you can see, I left out a lot of the other buildings as well. It's mostly for fun. You don't need to do exact copies. And now, like this is going to be a little bit lower. You still don't want to come too low. And I feel I can't draw as well as I want due to this weird ass angle that I'm in. I'm like, I'm doing proper Slav squats. So I think my Eastern European friends would be proud of me. 
So I'm going to try and keep this loose just because it's not exactly in the way that my hand likes to draw these things. And then the rest is also good because we're just going to hide the rest in, uh, with, with the foliage, which is trees mostly in this case. Go away. So what I would do, because here there's another building, pretty much on the same line as those, I would maybe hide another building or add another building here. It, it doesn't exist, but I'm just going to add, let's say there's a, a flat building like this, but a little bit lower. And then in between them, we're going to add the, the, the tree crowns, I think maybe it's called, not sure. And then here we should add a bit more buildings that we can see on top. Actually, these buildings I should also populate a little bit. So I just make this up, so I'm going to probably steal this and not do that line at all, because I think that line messes things up. And just copy some windows like that. Make sure line thickness wherever you have overlapping lines. So I'm going to make sure that this is a little bit thicker coming down here. There you go. Now, now you can see like this is clearly in front of that building. Uh, and then, yeah, you can come in, do some more foliage stuff, some more like this, like the, the, we have also bigger trees. So I'll, I'll make a couple of bigger bu bubbles, maybe even show some leaves. Because this is all in front. So basically, let me lift this up. So I'm talking about these bushes in front of the buildings that are all the way back there. My proportions here are pretty messed up, but I am not going to worry about that too much. At this moment, it's fine. It's just for the purpose of, of illustrating how I would approach something like this. I'm afraid if I add too much of this, it could become a little bit too busy. You want your eyes to have surfaces to rest as well. And you don't just want to, it to be the sky. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm not adding too many leaves. I'll, I'll add a couple, but not too many. So I'll take my Tombow pen to just make a clear delineation. Delineation, is that a word? I'm not sure. So to make a, a clear border between the bushes that are sort of up here on the on the hill and that are obstructing the view and then everything that's down there what i like to do is also like here if i don't want to put detail here i can just add a haze and by haze i mean i'm just going to add cross hatching there so remember the tools that you're working with since i'm, I'm working just with a fine liner in this case i'm trying to use the techniques that you can use for such things. Okay, and I think this is pretty okay. I'm going to strengthen the lines of these buildings a little bit. You could also, because we have quite a bit of, um, not industrial ground, but agricultural land here. You can like showcase a little bit with like how it's partitioned. It's always nice to see that. You have a couple of structures. What's always nice is repetition. And then if you if you see repeating structures, because that's how that's how we humans build. We usually have similar buildings close to each other. That's how that's how we build neighborhoods and areas. So just suggest something. I'm still gonna, I know I talked about, I don't want to make it too busy detail wise, but I feel like it could use a couple more windows. I'm going to make sure that I strengthen some of these tree lines here as well. I think that's pretty much it. So let's, uh, shall we do a comparison? Yeah. So that's, that's sort of the scene. And I was, I was mostly focusing 
on that building, then we have a couple of buildings back there and this one. So these two sort of gave me the perspective, which was in, as I drew it, somewhere running there and just, just be, be, between sort of the top of those hills and the top of these mountains. Well, I would say two thirds if we come down from the top of the hill. And then if we look at my drawing now, as I said, proportions are a little bit off. I feel like I zoomed in quite a bit, but uh, I think if you if you talk about capturing something, that's that's okay. All right, that was it for this video. Look, that's me as well. Anyways, hope you liked it. Like, dislike, you know the things you can do. Please leave me comments. I love reading them. You can support me in the doobly doo box below. Everything is written. Most important thing is that you guys have a great time and see you in the next video, which will be soon-ish. I'm still on vacation. I'm back to vacation. Bye-bye.